Hey guys, my name is Monica. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time since I posted a video. I'm back and I really want to start making more videos again. And I really want to get back into posting more on Instagram. And just being more involved with makeup in general. Because makeup is truly something that I love in my life. And it really hurt me not doing what I love these past couple months because I just haven't even had a chance to wear makeup like in general going out. So this look that I have for you is a look that I didn't even plan. I didn't even know what I was going to do for this video. I just kind of sat down and I was like, it's time. It's time to get out of my shell, go back to YouTube, go back to Instagram. But I kind of like this look. It kind of reminds me of like an ice queen look. Like I think I originally sat down trying to make this like a summer video. So stay tuned and watch me figure out what I'm doing with my face. And maybe you'll figure it out too. So tune in. Recently in my skin routine I have added this new moisturizer. It is the Garnier Skin Active. It is the soothing one. So there are three. This one has rose water in it. It's more for sensitive skin. So not to you Cause every time I read your message I wish I was a money your exes No I'm the fool As always we're gonna prime our eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the original one. I know there's some for anti-aging and some for mattifying. Since you for the eyeshadow, I think I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. So I got this one for Christmas, and I still haven't gone around filming a look with it. So here we are. We are going to start out with Saturn and Eden. And we're going to mix those two and put that on our crease. Next. We are taking the shade Obsidian, the black shade right here. And we're going to apply that into the outer corners. And a little bit into the crease. Just to like smoke it out a little bit. And put a little bit on the inside too. But leave the space in the middle empty. This shade, Dimension. It is the little teal sparkly blue in the corner. So after you pick up some of the product on the brush, take the MAC Fix Plus spray and hold it like this far away, I guess, and just Two chains. Two chains. Mm. Uh. And then when you apply that, apply it in the center and it adds way more dimension this way. It makes it way more pigmented, it makes it more foily. Go back in with obsidian a little bit and go back into the corners and just reapply on the outsides and insides. Now, finally, I just like to take a little bit of this shade Lucid and just apply like a little bit on your inner corners. Don't drag it too deep inside the lid. I'm gonna go in on my eyebrows. So I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I like the brow definer better because it has more of a thicker look. It's um, it's not a little point like the brow whiz. This one has more of a slant. I definitely like the shape a lot better for girls who have thicker eyebrows like me. And you can't just use a little point otherwise it would be done in like a week. So I like to brush through with the other side first. And then my trick for eyebrows is always one line on top one line going down the back and then one line underneath because I don't really need to fill mine in I just kinda line them just to say I did it and then just brush through once again so it gets an even shape now I'm gonna put on my lashes off camera so just give me a second I'll be right back okay so I'm back that was a lot more difficult than you thought it was I think I just threw these lashes in like a random box and just threw in my drawer. So, next we are going to be using my little mini Smashbox Always Stay On Gel Liner. You can see that this thing has literally lived its life to the fullest. Drawing a little bit of mascara, I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion. Mascara. It is actually, it's kind of okay. It's not my favorite. I picked it up at Sephora 
Um, I like it, but I feel like it does not give me the length and volume that I am desiring. It is a good mascara, but I don't know, it does the job for me. I usually only use mascara on my bottom lashes anyways, because I'm always wearing false lashes. But it does a trick, and I'm not complaining, but I'm probably going to get something else next time. I recommend the Dior Show just because that is a very nice mascara. It's about $30 at Sephora, but it's only worth it if you are really using mascara like that much because otherwise mascara's shelf life is only about two to three months. If you're not using it that often, it's not really that worth it. Next, I'm going to start in on my face. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer is an amazing primer that I actually really like. It goes on very smoothly. I like that it has a pump. A lot of primers that I've bought do not have pumps. They're usually the squirt bottle. I always prefer a pump. I'm using the Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Perfector, Hybrid Complexion Perfector. Um, it has broad spectrum SPF 20, so I usually only use this in the summer when like I'm going outside and like I just want to put on a little bit of coverage. It works more like a BB cream. It also has a pump, which is super cool. Always avoid the under eye area because you're going to be putting on concealer and especially in the summer you don't want to cake any part of your face, especially if you want to do a full face. I've noticed with this foundation BB cream thing, a little bit goes a long way. Now, you already know what my favorite concealer is. It is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This is the shade Natural. This is the one that I always use under my eyes and to fix up any blemishes. So apply the concealer only under your eyes and on any blemishes that you have. I don't recommend putting it on the highlight spots only because it's summer and like I said you don't want to cake on too much because that's how you get oily faster. We are going to go in with Laura Mercier setting powder. This is my little baby since it is summertime and I sweat like a bitch in the summer. I always bake my face. I never bake my face in the winter because I get dry spots under my eyes when I do, but in the summer, kind of have to. So I bought one of these little pads from Walmart. I bought a pack of two and you just replace them every six months. So I thought it was cheaper than buying the Laura Mercier pad and it fits in the actual thing. So it's perfect. I just carry that around with me. We are just going to pour some of this that's good just pat over the highlight spots even though you didn't put concealer over them those are still the high points of your face so they're the ones that are gonna get oily faster so put it on the bridge of your nose put it on your forehead and of course of course of course put it underneath of your eyes kitties <laughs> Now that I look completely ridiculous, I'm just going to let this bake on my face for about five minutes. Siri, set timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes and counting. And we are just going to let this bake on my face. I'll be right back. The timer went off, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my Too Faced Teddy Bear Kabuki brush. And it twists out, so I twist it out all the way, and then I just brush off everything. And there's still some foundation powder in this, I bet. So that's actually really good. The more powder you add during the summer, the more oil gets soaked up on your face and the longer it takes for it to get oily. So the trick is to always use cream in the winter and use powder in the summer because cream keeps your skin hydrated while it's dry and cold out. Now for the final step, we're going to contour. And I'm going to use this NARS concealer. And am this is a Mon... I think it says a Monde. But it is the NARS Concealer. It is more of a cream-based stick. I'm going to use it on the hollows of my cheek, just a couple lines, because I'm not trying to do anything too crazy. I don't want the bronzer to overpower this when I put that on. And then just blend, blend, blend. So my favorite bronzer that I've ever gotten is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It is a sample size, but it has lasted me two years. 
shows that you don't need the whole product sometimes. Save yourself some money. Buy yourself a cheesecake from Whole Foods or something with the extra money you save. Like, I don't know. But we just apply this over the spots that we contoured. Just a little bit, because like I said, I don't want this to like overpower anything. I don't want like a huge chisel look right now. As for highlighter, I'm just going to use the Fenty Beauty Hustle Baby highlighter. Just going to dip a little bit and swipe. And since there's so much sun out, you can put as much highlighter as you want and shine till the damn moon for all I care, because that's what I'm about to do and no one can stop me. Finally, the third member of the trio for contouring is the blush, and I'm using the Tarte blush in shade Feisty. I am using the Sephora lip liner in shade number four, Creme de la Creme, and I'm gonna put the Fenty Gloss Balm over it. Every single night I lose it. I can't even hear the music without you. I actually just changed my mind and I'm gonna use the MAC Metro Matte Lipstick in Burnt Spice. Last but not least, if you really want to hold a full face down in the summer, you need setting spray. So I am using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. It is the cheapest drugstore setting spray that I could find. It is the best one that I've seen besides the Urban Decay one. Um, but just hold it about the same distance you held the Mac, the Fix Plus spray from the brush. So that was my look. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I am definitely gonna try to post more as much as possible and I'm gonna try to bring out at least one video a week. I'm gonna try to make more tutorials and I'm gonna try to finish the Makeup for Dummies series that I started and never followed through on. I'm so sorry. But I am here, I'm back, and please, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe, do it all for me. Thank you, I will see you next time.